Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogbo333, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 on Insanity Difficulty. Now, in the last video, we went to Tachanka and finally, once and for all, cured the genophage. Uh, this is a new beginning for the Krogan people and for the galaxy as a whole. It also is starting to mark just about the halfway point. This upcoming mission... Um, on the Citadel is going to be the real midpoint. And um, as a result, there are going to be some things that um, if you're playing along with me at home and you've, you've done different order missions, there are a few things that you're going to have to worry about and finish up beforehand. Um, we'll get into that in a bit, bit however. Um... Over the break, I played a little bit more multiplayer, promoted another guy or two, so we pretty much have all the war assets we need, but the more the merrier, you know? So, I'm going to continue on. Um, we have some housekeeping matters to deal with real quick, so we're going to go around, check in with our crew, make sure they're doing okay. Hey, it almost happened. You guys weren't there. You don't know, I guess. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on November. Okay, yeah, so... We got the, uh, quest request, uh, request, quest request. That's... Okay. That's... We get a request to do that real quick. But, uh, we'll worry about that. There's no time limit on the N7 missions, like I said. But, there are some time li li uh, limits on the other missions. Um, there's the ones that I've talked about in the last video. So, if you don't know about those related to the Citadel, shit, I don't know what to tell you other than go back. Hope you didn't do them. If you didn't, uh, hope you didn't do them. Or, hope you finished them up if you didn't do, do Tachanka yet. And if not, then shit. But, there's also the matter of Grissom Academy. Now's your last chance in order to uh, go over, oh shit, that's a little early um, for that. Um, now's your last chance to go to Grissom Academy and rescue the students and Jack. Uh, if you don't, they're going to disappear, and you will see Jack, but on the Citadel, not the Citadel, the suicide, not the suicide mission, um, the C Cerberus base as an enemy. Uh, so if you want to save her as a war asset, or have her for the party, or to romance, or whatever, do it now. You should have done it earlier, probably, but now's your last chance. So get on it. There's also something else, but before we get into that, let's check in with our crew. The Turians have given us top level access to their combat data. Their hmm. ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian Alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard, it's another to see him in action. Well, Commander. History is definitely being made, folks. Now, I think up here, it's probably one of my favorite uh, interactions on the whole ship. I think this is it. Yep. All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask to be sorry for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why wow. does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. <sighs> yeah, I am too, but... He's a friend till the end, you know? He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. <laughs> I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? Fair point. <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So was. now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. Pretty good, not gonna lie. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for Smart. Him. I'll, we'll give it to him Imagine for Christmas. if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. Ooh. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. Uh, I mean, math didn't work out, you know? So... I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Indeed. Anything else, fellas? I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. Hmm. Good question. I wonder where all the Krogan oh, will live it. now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. Right, Joker. Commander. Jo Joker. Flight Lieutenant. Alright, so that's all the people on Deck 2. We'll make our way down to check Deck 3. And then Deck 4, we actually need to talk to our engineers about the, uh, Commander, thermal Chief plant. Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh, funny you mention that. I was literally just talking about that. Crew Deck 3. So, um, before we continue, let's take a look at the, uh, memorial wall. Um, where is he? There we are. Morden, Solus. Rest in pre peace, brother. Let's see where everyone is, because I forget. Edie's in the AI core, strangely enough. The R's in her cabin, as usual. Doesn't get out much, to be honest, but... Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams, to be sure. I wouldn't risk the question. it. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Is there any, uh, did we pick up any intel? Yes, we did. Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Um, weapon damage or shield strength? That's a good quandary, actually. Let's do weapon damage. Alright, Doctor? The genophage cured. The Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Nope. Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? Probably or better. Will this be the than start those. of another Krogan Empire. Well, he does have Eve with him, so hopefully his worst urges, I guess, will be kept in check. Eve's organizing the female Krogan. That's good. She reminds me of some of the more formidable matriarchs I've known. The Krogan won't let themselves fall by the wayside again. Not like they did after the rebellions. We'll have to get used to them having a bigger part in the galaxy. Well, that's not a bad thing necessarily. It just depends on what they want. I hope the Krogan live up to their ancient legacy, and for the better. Agreed, agreed. Anything else? Hello, Shepard. Hello. The private messages terminal has 
Yeah, you know, I'll check that one day. I just I'm too lazy to right now. Door. Hey, Doc. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. So am I. I want so to help I. with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. <laughs> he might. Feeling okay, Commander? More or less. Feeling okay, Commander? Oh, that's it. Okay. All right, Edie's in the air core, so we'll check in on her real quick. What are you up to now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. Hmm. That one was small. Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Tyrians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Here you go. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Edie. All right, so moving on. Engineering four. Uh, now is actually one of the few times I'm actually gonna go talk to Ch uh, Allers. You mean the biggest story in fifty thousand years that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Commander, got a minute? Yeah, I guess. What do you want to know? Oh. You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? Well, this is... This is their shot. This is their second chance at, at life. It's a new leaf for Krogan. It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? I'm sure we can negotiate that. The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. <coughs> sorry! I helped them oh, get sorry. the Phage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. Was that a pun? There it just... is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, I'm sorry, this is Diana I'm Aller. Sorry. Good night and stay strong. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Alright. Well, I'll get it here. So, I think that gives you another fucking five war assets, I think, which isn't too much, but it, it's something, you know? She's not interested. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. <laughs> Adams? Man, you want to talk to me? news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. It went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. Okay. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Okay. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Okay, do, do it. it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Alright, so that's another nice little bonus from uh, doing the uh, mission. Get the optimized ESO capacitors, which I think is a uh, number 50 war assets? I forget exactly. Javik. What's up, man? We get a full cutscene, okay. Commander. Javik. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been mm -hmm. exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Miranda? Sounds like Miranda. Yep. And a drill. There yeah, was that's, illness. Uh, that's Thane. Thane. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. Yep, Grunt. Already talked about his him. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. 
There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. Damn. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Well, tell me more about the cosmic was imperative. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. Oh, well, I mean... That's why we need to help the weakest. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Doesn't sound like something she would. I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think so? You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Exactly. <sighs> you have killed a Reaper. I would like to have seen it. No matter. There will be more. Exactly. Plenty more. Plenty more. Yes. A difficult fight remains. I have heard about the offer the Salarians made. I would have accepted it, and not told the Grogan. At one of Morality out. and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. If the Krogans seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. Not wrong. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. That's... Is that your last word? Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Oh, that's a good good way to live by. That's why I like talking to you, Javik. I mean, you can be a little depressing at times, but at the same time, you're, um, strangely real. Alright, um... Cortez. What's up, man? Can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. <sighs> yeah. Guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. Diagnostics flagged excessive wear on a transducer. Replacing just in case. Alright, so Sir. Alright, keep up good work, Cortez. Alright, James, what's up? You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not gonna start growing scales or anything, right? Well, we could ask Morden, but he's kind of not around anymore, so we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. Um, fingers crossed. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachunka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, yeah. it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Do you hear that hum? Is that just I me? I do. Okay, so, that's... All the crew putting their two cents. So now that we got most of the housekeeping matters done, there's one matter. Like I said, I think in the pa oh wait, we do have mail time with Shepard. How could I forget mail time with Shepard? So what do we got? We have five whole emails, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's start with your regrettable decision from Dalatras Lenron. 
Commander, I am deeply, deeply disappointed by your actions on Tachanka. As I thought I made clear, curing Vigenophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for Vigenophage, and the Solarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed himself, his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day, not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization, Dalatras, Lunron, Solarian Union. Well, no one fucking asked you. Making babies. Sounds sexy, let's see. From Erdnot Rex, Shepard. Making babies again will be fun. As soon as this war's over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eva's in the Celtic Valley, enlisting support for the, from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to save Atarians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. Oh, Rex. I'm going to miss him. We'll see him soon. Well, maybe not soon, literally, but soon in a general sense. Impressive work from General Corinthians. Commander Shepard, when you first arrived in Manet, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit from a fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Churian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit that I am impressed. You brokered an alliance that many thought possible. Palvin might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthians, Manet Command. That's nice. Still fighting, from Shiala. Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've seen the articles, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's Reaper instead of Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorin is dead now, I can confirm that, but the spores in our bodies remain, and at some level, we are still connected. This is not necessarily a bad thing, as we fight back with the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring the pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I w went willingly to Thorian as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zeus Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. This situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety, but with one mind the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We're leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight for you. Shiala. I don't remember her. It's back in Mass Effect 1, if you don't. No, it's, um, good to hear from her. Finally, we have an ANN alert, new article on Reaper. Pharaohs, a group of colonists on Pharaohs have mounted a defense, a defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a sal savage Geth attack several years ago, has repelled initial G Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence most common to seasoned platoons. The, colony the colonies are using imp improvised weapons as well as supplies sav salvage from a defunct Exogeny facility. This colony is our home, colony spokesperson Elizabeth ba Bainham said. We've survived worse, and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have, have time for full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Well, it's good to hear about Zeus Hope. I can say there's hope for them. Got him. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Anyway. So, we got all that done. Now, there's one more matter that we have to discuss. A little bit and this kind of goes a little bit into spoilers about what's gonna happen in the mission so if you don't want to hopefully I'll remember to put a little time link so you can skip ahead uh, or not or just skip ahead to um when the mission started and I'll just um, we'll continue from there but a lot of shit's gonna happen on on uh, the Citadel a few people are going to die and most importantly, one of our potential squad mates and one of our oldest friends might die. Um, in this game, it's going to be Caden, but if you have Ashley alive in your game, there's going to be a confrontation with uh, whichever one survived Vermeer in your game. And I don't know if any of you know how to nece how necessarily works how to keep them alive or not. And if this is the first time playing along with me, you might not know. So, real quick. 
Uh, let's go to the Mass Effect wiki. There's a nice little chart. There's a little. Con there's going to be a confrontation at the end. Uh, like I said, uh, circumstances are going to leave a uh, lead to them pulling a gun on you, and whether you can talk them down or not depends on a couple factors. Now, there's going to be a Paragon interrupt, which will allow you to de-escalate de the situation a little bit, but it's all about trust, and like e everything, there's a little math behind it. So, there are a couple factors, very yes points and very no points that help you. So, starting off, you play Mass Effect 1 and romance either Caden or Ashley, you get a bonus of 2. But if you romance someone else in Mass Effect 2, uh, Thane, Jacob, or Garrus as Femshep, or Miranda, Jack, and T or Tally as male Shep, maybe Kelly for both. I don't know exactly how that works. Um, you lose a point. So it's only one point effectiveness. If you save a council in Mass Effect 1, that's a point in your favor. If not, it's a point against you. Uh, if you're importing a game from 3 or 2 uh, without playing 1, uh, the council's dead, so you're you're working with a point against you off off a of bat. If you kept either Kiri or Thane alive up to Mass Effect 3, you don't get any points. But if both of them are dead, you lose two points because some uh, Sylvan Counselor is going to die, and there's going to be a video that looks like you do it, which doesn't really help because you're right in front of the council, and uh, Udina's going to accuse you of wanting to kill him. Now, if you were not a dick to Kate and Ashley during on Mars, you get a point. If not, if you were if you were a dick, you lose a point. If you visited Kate and Ashley in the hospital when they were awake, it doesn't matter if they were asleep. That doesn't really matter. You get two points, which is pretty nice. If you did cheat on them in Mass Effect 2, if you admit it or you apologize for it, no change. But if you try to lie or get behind it, they're, they're going to know and they won't trust you, so you'll lose a point. If you visit a hospital a second time, you get an extra point. And if you take a Paragon Interrupt, you're going to get the um, an extra point. Now, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. We have five right now. We're probably going to do six new Paragon Interrupts. So how that works... If you have four or higher, they're going to side with you no matter what. You don't have to worry about it. If you have anywhere between zero and three, three, you're going to have a reputation check. which is going to take into account your Paragon and your Renegade score. And if you have anything below zero, one or below, you won't be able to talk them down, and you're going to have to take them out, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on if you don't like them. So, yeah. Um... Now that we got that little bit of strategy out of the way, it's time to shoot some some shit, I think. So, um, we're full up maxed out on fuel, so let's just hit the mass relay. Um, now let's just hit the relay. Let's meet the Solarian Council. We gotta meet with the Solarian Council. And, um, this upcoming mission is going to have a lot of, um, well, we're getting that in a second. Um, so right about now, if I think, if I remember, this is going to be where I put the timestamp for you guys who watch the video, so hello, uh, we'll get into... You'll, you'll eventually see what we're talking about. And let's go and dock back on the Citadel. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter if you do go for Bryson's Lab or Dock 42 or whatever. If you try to land on the Citadel at all, it's going to trigger the mission. So, just go to Line Stocks. Go uh, continue as normal. It's a What's up, control? Joker? This is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Hmm. Zakara Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 14, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Oh, where's the lady? Oh no, that's not good. What the hell's going on down there? 
Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Oh, shit. Sure. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says Thane. it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere, and they're in control of the docks. Of course. Are you safe? Fuck. No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Hmm. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. <sighs> okay, All right. shit. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, so, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of Cerberus, so... Um, right now I think Garrus will be a good pick. Um, Overload, uh, armor-piercing ammo for the, um, more armory guys. That'll be a good... Yeah, he'll be good. Pick. And for the other guy... Who else do I want? I don't want to bring the same load squad last time, but at the same time, I'm also tempted to bring James along too. Um, Liara maybe? Maybe Javik? I I don't know. All of them are kind of all of them are kind of tempting my uh, catching my eye right now. No, I think I'll go with James. Yeah. Uh, confirm squad selection, accept. I'll, I'll mix up the loadout next time. We're going to have two new squad mates coming in anyway. One now, one later. Or one, literally right, not quite literally after this mission, but soon. So, go ahead and confirm. This is not good. Oh shit. Move! Okay. Come on, guys, you got this. Oh. Bailey, no! Oh, okay, shit. People, coming in hot. Get to cover. Sir! Okay, fuck, okay. So, can I mean, you get. Okay, Garris has his aim on going, that's good. I'll get working on that, too. We're gonna have a lot of troops to deal with. We gotta fight our way up there. It looks like ba Bailey's up against the wall. He might still be okay, so we gotta try to help him out. Okay, I'm gonna move up. Okay, I think we're good. Up? Oh, no, not quite yet. Oh, hi, guys. Ah, uh, Shepard! <sighs> Shit, Bailey, you okay? Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them <sighs> okay. out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. 
How okay, let's get you up, buddy. Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. That should. All right, we're in. Here we go, CSET network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hmm, okay. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Oh, be on guard. Shit. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... <sighs> Why is he trying to meet now? What's... Why would the counselor be meeting with the executor? What's up? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. Fuck. The counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. Fair point. Okay, we'll... We'll... Uh... We'll head his way. Try to help him out. One counselor is better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. Mm. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. All right. Ten four. Shit. Hey. All right. Did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Okay. I couldn't move for a second. I was wondering what was up. Um, anything in here that I'm, I might miss? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We gotta move then. We gotta help the counselor out. Wait a second. Okay. Um, do concussive shot. Go ahead and do carnage. We have to head up there, and I know there are way more troops. Yep. Well, didn't have to worry about that guy so much. That left did nothing. Oh, it was worth a shot. Sounds like a turret was just set up. Yep. Put a thunk. Okay, cover. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, all things considered. Um, piercing mod. What the fuck is that? Ah, just more guys, okay. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more mm. through the cameras. They're all over the station. Shit. Um. This one got it in the back of the head. Inside job. Same as Mars. Fuck. Cerberus sure like sleeper agents. I guess so. Okay, I gotta bypass the store, make our way through. Station. I think we're good. Okay, um... So we can't go in there. I think there's something, um... 
over on this end, so I'm gonna check it out real quick. Dr. Steven Brule. Check it out. Oh, there's an assault, assault rifle in the shitter. Sounds, reminds me just like, um, sounds just like home. Got a locker, and we got some more corpses. They really went room to room, didn't they? Fuck. I regret going in here, because now I'm reminded that I have to go to the bathroom, but... I can hold it. I can hold it. Can I? I don't know. Fuck. Elevator co control, it's set up. None yet. Entry one. Entry one. Warn Herc that if he doesn't fill his reports properly, I'm kicking his ass from one end of a citadel to the other. Entry two. Reschedule meeting with customs analysts about cargo weight discrepancies over last year. Don't let him wriggle out of that again, damn it. Re Entry three. Reports of undesirables getting on station illegally. Have biometric systems calibrated. Again. Entry four. Kick, he kick Herc's sorry ass from one end, end of a citadel to the other. This uh, can over to the other side. I got um a Rockstar X Durance cotton candy energy drink. I'm on water. I can only drink so much energy drink at a time. I'm not like um someone who can fucking chug that shit. I don't. I mean, part of me understands it, but at the same time, I'm just I uh I can't. I get too caffeinated up. Okay, door control. Yep, details. Let's see if that other door opened up real quick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we got the Talon. Very interesting. Also got another data pad. Uh, from Sergeant Uriah Shah to Captain Iana Mao. I brought up number 177504 from evidence, so you can see it for yourself. We caught the slag who was assembling it in one of Tower 110's bathrooms. He got it past the detectors in pieces, metal barrels, and a hollowed out omni tool Ezo in one of the scission tooth thrushes. The rest was plastic or ceramic, no gang ink on him. He was in a sport coat like most of the male employees of Tower 110. His idea was manufactured, he's got a record that dates back to when his med card was issued, and before that, nothing. This is way beyond coincidence. This is a pro-assassin, and he's not alone. We've got people smuggling talons all over the station. Patrol knows it, organized crime knows it, everyone knows it. But when you try to talk to the Major, you hit a steel wall. Where's internal affairs when you need them? Why can't we get them to open an uh, investigation on customs? You would not get away with this with blind-eyed business if this were LA or Hong Kong. The Major says he's not going to screw over good police because of one nut with a pistol. But th it isn't just one. Ask the executor this. If this isn't the stuff we're catching, if this is the stuff we're catching, what's slipping by, Shaw? <sighs> Shit. Okay. Oh. Well, Let's just have to find that. Wait and see, I guess. You guys got it. Okay, fuck. Uh, this, uh, I think this is the executor's office. Now. Yeah, there yeah, we go. stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. I got some credits. Med. Is that... Is that Kalisa? Oh, that is Kalisa, okay. Anything. Um. Okay, we got the stairwell. Might as well. There's a mod I'll pick up real quick. Piercing mod. Not gonna use a sniper rifle, but it is nice to have, I guess. At the very least. Okay. Open the door.
Bailey, looks Shit. like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Fair point, shit. Up oh, there he is. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Wait. Who the fuck is this dude? Oh shit. Alright. Don't even think about it. You goofy ninja Jeffrey, fuck just put it down. All. That remains to be seen. I mean what do you think? He's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. <sighs> that tra traitorous Three bastard. One, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. Pain! Oh shit! Son of a bitch. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Thank! Oh. 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 <sighs> what a fucking legend. Terminally, terminally ill, and he still gets his ass kicked. You okay, dude? How bad is it? Fuck. I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Alright, fuck. We'll be back for you, Thane, don't worry. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. <gasps> oh, hey. We were just looking for you. Funny, funny to see you. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> James? James, help us out here, man. Fuck. Alright, Shepard, you might want to get back in the car, I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, brace for brace for impact. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh You guys okay? James is good. Garrus, you good? My yeah. instruments say your car stopped. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Okay. Negative. Um, their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? That's something. The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. I'm on my way. Oh shit. Oh hi. So that's a phantom. There they are. This is a first appearance they actually make in the game. Are they dead on I think it's dead already. Anyway, um the phantoms are kinda bitches. You gotta be careful when they're up close. Because they can do a one hit kill on you. And since my build just a whole fucking class is one hit uh, up and close, I'm gonna have to be really careful with them. So, yeah, just saying. Pro tips. Alright, 
we also got Venemesis, which... I think they did, so I think we're good. Jump over. Overload. There we go. Not really, fuck. Okay, frag him. I know I just said you gotta be careful, but there's a um, uh, That's how I usually do, deal with the uh, phantoms. Charge them, then immediately jump back. The same kind of... You can do the same with banshees and be mostly fine. You just gotta be very quick to jump back, because they can, um... If you get the, uh... If they hit you, and they start reanimation, you're fucked. That's just how it, that's just how it goes. Okay, so... Filling them up. Lead. Swap over to shotgun. Oh, hi. Bye. Okay, so. With the counselor, what would have happened if Fane didn't survive a suicide mission? You might be thinking, well, if... Fuck. If Major Kiri is still alive, he will sat he's gonna be the one who saves the counselor instead of Thane. And he'll just die off the bat. Thane still has a bit of life in him. But Kiri's just gonna die outright. And as for um if uh the major or the major isn't there and Thane isn't there, um the counselor is just dead. Dickhead kills him. So if you're curious about what happens, now you know. So we gotta keep pushing to the plaza. Snap, crackle, and shock. Defense solutions. Now I'm hungry. Oh, hi, guy. I'm at Shalbar Plaza. Where's the count? Yeah, an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Great. Yeah, long story, Bailey. Uh, thanks, Bailey. I'm kind of busy, but when I figured it out, I'm off on. Can I? They're too, too out of range right now for me to charge them. I'll just lay down suppressing fire. There we go. Beautiful. That might be all of them. Don't quote me on that, but that might be all of them. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. We got an elevator. Oh, hey, dickhead. I mean, I don't know what you think about doing, but... Ooh, smart, James. Good job. Alright, I guess we're hopping on. So we gotta okay, stop the council the elevator. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Okay. Oh shit, you weren't joking. Fuck it's dark. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. <laughs> nice. Devious bastard. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit in the engine. There we go. See you, sucker. Yes, so oh, shit. Shepard, bad news. What's up? Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. Fuck. He's on his way up, I can't stop him. Can't even do it every, every other floor? Fuck. Here they come. Oh. 
Bye. Oh, that's the council. Council that one. Okay. Fuck! What's that noise? Oh, hey, Gaiden. Get down. Oh. Shit! Go. Okay, so remember the math I was talking about. Everyone back to the elevator. Move. If you skipped a, that part, that's what I was talking about. Um. Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone, calm down. Right, listen. I know it looks bad, but trust me. I can explain this, Kate. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. Fair point. Fair point. Okay, well, we don't have time to down. negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Udina's behind this attack. The Salarian counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You'll never do. There are well, I've always been right. Elevator shaft Dickhead. Behind us. If you open that door, they'll Reapers, kill you all. collectors. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. Thank you! We don't have time to debate this. Thank you! If we stay out here, I'm overriding the lock. I better Get not him. grab this. You won't, buddy. You won't. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this! Oh shit. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! <sighs> Fuck that Get the gun. council back and cover that door. Never done that. I've never taken that interrupt before, actually. That felt fucking great. Oh, the shit. door! Bailey. Oh hey, Bailey! Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Again. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. Well... It's about fucking time, not gonna lie. To get you on board. We were unsure. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No. He's a dickhead, but it's really about it. But I plan to find out. All right, people, principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Recording. Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina oh, was shit. expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. That wasn't it Shepard, was, it wasn't us. It was a dying drill. We'll see. So that's probably more embarrassing, actually. You goofy-eyed fuck. But, you know, that's just, that's just me. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. Well... He'll come out soon enough, hopefully. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. Hmm. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds Makes me, sense. we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. Fuck, He's we better check in on him. Apparently, uh, there's complications. What are we talking here? You think here? he'll make it? 
I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. Thanks, Bailey. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Yeah. Um. I better go talk to him really quickly. On a map. Yeah, there's not much to do right off the bat in the aftermath. And there's uh, stuff we can do, sure, but. We'll just have to, um. Okay, Huerta. I think we're gonna do we're gonna end this video after this little conversation so just because I think this is gonna be a great fucking cutoff point for it so just real quick thank you for watching guys if you like really like if not feel free to dislike and we'll see more of my content future go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more uploads every weekday as well as every Saturday if any comments feedback concerns and sort go leave in the comment section below I read all the comments I get appreciate all the feedback you guys might have for me once more financially um, Patreon down below if you want to send a few bucks my way. If you're so inclined, I'd appreciate it. If not, I do understand, but it's the only way I can make money off this, so keep that in mind. Also, I have a Discord down below if you want to join up for that. We can chat, play games, and just have a fun time generally. My name has been Doggo333, and in the next video, we're going to figure out the next course of action. Uh, but real quick, we got to check in our friend. So, can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Mm. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. <sighs> Is there anything I can do? I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Yeah. Okay. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. Hey, Koliak, how are you doing? I don't know if you doing? remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Father's a hero. I want you to know that. It's an honor serving with him. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Hey, buddy. Commander. I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. It's You've okay. done more than enough, Vane. It's okay, buddy. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his See, target. That's what I'm saying. I'll pass that's the word along. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Kalahira, <coughs> mistress of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the Indian spirit. Koliad, <coughs> you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I 
brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? I don't see why not. Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starves. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. What do you mean? His wish was for you. Oh, shit. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.